Hi, Julie Torrance here. So I've got our gel prints. I've got this stack and I have, hang on, <laughs> this stack. And so the question, what do you do with your gel prints? We're gonna start doing. So what I have under here is my Meyer cardstock. Got it from the grocery store, 67 pounds. And that's where I get it, grocery store. And I had rested it on the gel plate. Look how pretty. So what I wanna start out with is these. These are all the ones that I did in the last three videos I did on cardstock. And I have not done anything to them and look how flat, and remember how they curled up? This paper does go back to flat once it dries. So, you know, just a handy thing to know. But this is too flimsy for a tag or a journaling card or anything. So that's why as I was working, I wasn't too worked up about me getting stuff on the back of this because I knew I was gonna be backing it up. So back this up is what we are gonna do. I'm going to get a piece of this and this is just some packaging from clothing, but it really does um, release glue and things. And um, I like it, I like it, it works good. All right, I'm gonna start out with glue stick. And I'm going to, I'm not gonna get glue stick over the whole thing, I know that. But I am going to kind of concentrate on the edges like this and up this edge. Okay, so I think I've got all the edges and stuff. And now I'm gonna put this on just as precise as I can humanly do. Okay. I didn't get it perfect. Didn't think I would. And I am going to, once this is cut into tags or journaling cards or whatever, I am going to stitch around. So, now this feels right, you know, that's good. So we'll just do a couple of these. This one, I know it's a little bit plainer, but sometimes that's nice. And there are details in there, I don't know if you can see, um, that are subtle, but I like them. So let's get a couple of these done and you'll see how I'm gonna do them. And then I will finish this up on my own. And I will get them under something heavy. Not so much to straighten them out because they are nice and straight, but to really get the glue to adhere. And I'm not worried about getting glue on the edges where I'm going to be sewing on the sewing machine because I'm not going to do it till tomorrow. I'm going to do it when it's dry. Now, this is the same day that I did those three videos of the gel printing. And I am now getting this part done. So it's evening, and it's kind of nice to be with you in the evening. I hope I've got enough light going on. I think I do, and it's still light outside. It's about seven-ish. I had my dinner, and there. Good. Let's do one more. What do you say? I love this one. It's, I don't know if you can see, it's goldy, shimmery, and I love the, it's, that was done with that um, jellyfish type print, or stencil, I should say. Okay, I guess this time I'm going to put it on the, the backing instead of on the front. It doesn't really matter. So how are you? I hope you're doing well. I have washed my hands so many times today from working on these projects and um, they're, they're as dry, they're, they feel like Velcro. <laughs> but you know what? I have had a marvelous day. I really have. I have spent 
the whole day if I'm not doing my art, I was doing something to take care of myself, like making a meal, making a pot of coffee, all that. Okay, love it. Can we do one more? Say yes. I want to get one more done. Let's do this one. I'm just, I'm in the groove. And honestly, if I wasn't with you, I'd do them all, but we're going to, we're going to do several and it, it doesn't matter. I won't be able to, well, I don't want to, maybe I could stick them on the cutter, but I don't think it's really good for the paper because people will sometimes say that glue stick is a dry adhesive. No, it isn't And it. It needs to dry and the paper does absorb some of the liquid you know and it's just better to cut you'll get a cleaner cut when your paper is nice and dry and so that's what I want to do but won't this just be lovely I hope you think so because I think so we've done one two three four we can do five now this one I did I, on a video, but days ago. I'm gonna do another one of my faves, this one. To me, this looks like copper and patina, and I just love it. And I don't have any metallic copper paint. That was just a brown color. I don't remember which one, um, but I think it was the Jane Davenport one that was kind of a, oh, I don't know, kind of a milk chocolatey color. It was a medium of the browns. There's a, a mahogany brown in there, and then there was a deep, deep brown, and then this one. But then when I put the, um, the, I call it interference, I forget what they call it, kind of paint, and it gave it that shimmer, it just really made it look like copper to me. And then, and I didn't plan it, but when I put the teal with it, I just thought it really came out cool. I don't feel like I flattened this one down as much. Okay. Let's get one of them that we did together recently, like this one. Love it. Okay. So yes, I did my videos and then I cleaned the desk, which was a joy. It really was because you know, I'm the one that made the mess and I had a lot of fun making the mess. So I don't mind cleaning it up. You know, it's not like when someone walks across your clean floor with their muddy boots. <laughs> you know, no, this was just finishing the goodness of the whole day. And you were with me. And that means a lot. Okay, let's get this one on. I took a uh, a load of trash outside to the trash thing and there's hawks and the hawks are not way up in the sky like I'm used to seeing them. They're like at the tops of the trees and the geese are just unhappy. So they're honking a lot but it's, it's warm enough Living upstairs as I am, I was going to open the patio door here, but I was afraid that you'd find that honking to be just a little bit distracting. So, oh well, I've got my patio door closed. And then I saw three geese. Tell me in the comments if you don't want to hear about the geese. I love the geese. The, uh, and we don't have so many that they're a burden. They don't chase you unless you go after them first or if you by accident really get near one of their nests. And, you know, that's only part of the year. And honestly, where they put their nests, it's not where people typically walk. I mean, they're not that dumb. But uh, the geese, there was like three of them flying, but not together, not in a formation, in kind of a helter-skelter, like you don't normally see geese fly like that. 
and they were chasing a smaller bird. And I thought, you know, if that's like a blue jay or something that maybe was going after one of their nests, because you know a blue jay will eat bird eggs. Oh, yes, they will. And those three were in a kind of a kind of a triple formation going after it, like all coming in, converging in on that little bird. And that little bird was flying as fast as I think it could. <laughs> Okay, all right. I think I've stretched my luck on this enough. <laughs> but I will get the rest of those done. Don't have that many more. One, two, three, four more. I'll get those done. And like I said, I'm going to put them under a weight. And then tomorrow, I don't work my other job. So tomorrow, I very well may go ahead and... Uh, make a video and we'll do the next step because I'm excited about all this. I hope you can tell. Okay, next thing. Remember this book? This is the book that I took the the cue from uh, Gail Agostinelli and I've turned this catalog which has very hardy paper and also very matte paper and I'm making master boards in here. So one side decorated then one side with the idea that it could be writing space. This, I just used book page, writing space, book page, writing space. So those are very neutral. So let's work on this. And I've got the neutrals here. So I'm just going to set those aside. And now I've got the stack of gel prints. And I want to make a gel print one. Now, I also put in here some of the... Um, the roll-off sheets. Is this two or one? That's only one. Oh boy, we're going to have to pick a side. Um, I want to pick like several patterns that are, I'm going to start since I'm looking at this in the peachy purpley colors. So like this one. And these are done on the wrapping paper, packing paper that, you know, your Amazon things can come in. Oh, that is such great paper. Okay, so I'm going to save this one and this one. And can we find one more? Oh, it's dark, but let's go with it. Okay, let's start with those. And so we've got a couple, three different patterns here. And I'm going to get the tear ruler out. And let's make a master board out of these. So it's, you know, what do you do, Julie? What do you do with these gel prints? Here we go. This is what I do. These can make gorgeous borders. I'm going to save it. You know I don't save a lot of scraps, or I throw away more than a lot of people would necessarily throw away. But I'm just kind of squaring this up but not really, just to get rid of the super raggedy edge. Now this one doesn't have much paint and it's awfully skinny. That one went in the trash. Okay, I'll save that one. All right, and let's just pull a piece off of here. All right, a uh, glue book. Didn't remember, but happened to have one. There we go. I've got to kind of scooch over this way so you can see, right? I hope you've been able to see so far. Let's get the glue stick. I'm using a Scotch Create glue stick. Got this at um, the craft warehouse, so I don't know if... I haven't been able to find any of the Scott glues that I really liked. Scotch, not Scott. So I don't know if these were leftovers. You know what I mean? Because I gave up on trying to find that months ago. All right. Love that. We can put another, another piece of this on. I do like to try to get the straight edges on 
to start with. But I think we're pretty much going to have straight edges with this. It's not like I'm using scraps of the scraps. Nothing wrong with that, but just that's just not what we're doing today. Okay. And a couple of these. This one doesn't have a whole lot of spare border. Just a little. But the other side's really ragged, so I'll probably trim it up too. Save that. I'll show you how I use those in a in a border on a journaling page. It's almost like when you're using the the manufacturer strip on the edge of a piece of uh, scrapbook paper. Let's go a little wider with this. Okay. I'm trying to think, you know, I, I know I went quiet. I always call it the manufacturer strip on those pieces of, or those, you know, the um, scrapbook paper edge. But I know that's not really what they're called, and I can't remember. It's kind of like a salvage on a fabric, really. All right, let's stick another one of these on. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think it's pretty. Yes, so I was watching today when I was outside for a little bit the the activities of the geese. Okay, and let's get our third sheet here. May pick, pick a, a fourth. We'll see. Too skinny. That's okay, that's okay. And this one isn't really got any paint on it. So let's... Make these a little bit smaller. Just give it a different vibe. Okay. Now I am going to be using all of this. Well, it's going to take me a long time to use all of this, but I'm going to be using the the parts that we're making right now that didn't quite fit, but that's all right. We can we'll stick another piece over it. Um I am going to be I, making a project. Still haven't decided. I was kind of thinking about maybe making a whole journal where I'm using just my embellishments and gel prints. I think it could be really rich, but I haven't, I haven't, I haven't made a firm decision. Okay. I'm feeling like I want another, oh, I have this and this has more blue in it. This side it's kind of multicolored. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of both sides. And there's not very much paint on there at all. This one's going to have more paint. I'll save that. That side can just stay as it is. This is already tearing. So I'm just going to take the hint and go ahead and tear it. There's really no paint on there. This piece, why, why can't it stay nice and long? That looks good. Let's do that. Oh, here's the other side. See, I knew that was going to make it hard. I like this side better. I like both sides, but I have to make a decision.
Let me know in the comments what you think of this style of a master board. I'm liking it. I'm not ashamed to say it. Now this is the same side. I think that would look good up there. And again, not much paint or not as much paint on this side as on that other side. So I'm happy to be covering. I don't know what that, there's like a piece of paint on there. Can you see it? Can you see way up here? There, I just got the, the three dimension part of it off. <laughs> okay, good. Now maybe we'll use some of this, this side. Right down here. I think that would be good. I can see it's pa little paper bits. Well, you know, this was the roll off. So my uh, my brayer probably had picked up some paper along the way. Where did I say here? Mm hmm that's nice. Okay, now we can kind of go back to where we started, don't you think? Let's get this one. It's getting warmer in general, and my glue stick is getting a little more goopy, but any glue stick I've ever bought has always gotten goopier when the weather's gotten warmer. Do you find that too? Okay, here's another leftover piece from when we started. Let's, let's get some glue on it. Oops. Not even sure you can see me. But you know what it looks like to put glue on a piece of paper. Right? Tell me that you do. Now that's the same. And that doesn't have as much paint. We'll just hang on to that. And let's go to this. Up in the corner. It's here and it's here. I think it'll be all right. Plus, I'm going to be cutting it up, right, Julie? Duh me. So, I really don't need to worry about that kind of symmetry. It's a master board. It's a beautiful master board as far as I'm concerned. I am liking it. Okay, a little bit right here, huh? Let's see, do I have any more smaller pieces? Nope. All right. I am going to go with this one. Is that that? Oh, for heaven's sakes. See, with the, um, with the light, let's put this one here. With the lighting in that, you know, some, some direction it looks like, uh, silver in some direction it looks like magenta and it and it fooled me it fooled me I'm sure you're thinking that's probably not too hard to do and on some days I would say you're right you're right can we do this now I think we can I'm determined to use this piece aren't I Yes. Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Okay. Good. Right here, and then I've got a sliver right there. Hey, what about all those slivers I threw on the floor? Like this. Mm-hmm. 
I would say so. Okay, this is this is getting very sticky. Let's turn it over. Oh, I'm getting very sticky, huh? Okay. I hope this piece is long enough now. If not, we'll find a little bit of something else. But no, I think it's fine. No, I don't think it is fine. Nope. I need a little bit more. <laughs> Good to the last drop. There we have it. Now, here. Ooh, a glue, a glue thread. Now, okay, that's that. <laughs> Let's do a maroon. Yeah, we will do a maroon. It really, I think it's kind of a brown or a mahogany or something. I don't know. I just know I like it. Right, let's just move this. Have some semblance of straight. Now, okay, that's, it. I thought it was magazine showing, but it's just where the paint ended. And we'll go in there. Well done. Okay. All right, master board done with all gel prints, but I kept it in the same colorway. Can you see that? Is it, that looks like it's lifting, but it's not. So I think having it in the same color family with a few accenty pieces, um, you know, I, I think it, it'll make a nice master board. Now this side, I should go with the neutrals. And you know what? People want to see the process. Let's process. Let me grab these scraps. Now these are all scraps from doing the same. Don't need book page, but we've got a good start here. And like I said, this is all packing paper of different, different kinds, different, different times of uh, when it arrived. Oh, I don't want that. I want my glue book. Here we go. And glue sheets. Okay, let's get going. Oh, I wish I could hear your voices for many reasons, but I wish I could hear your voices because I really need a project. And I'll tell you what I am coming to a conclusion of that maybe I just need to get a kit because, you know, that will give me kind of a compass, kind of a, you know, a jump start of sorts. Not positive yet, obviously. I haven't made up my mind, but I want to get started on a project. I I want it to be a journal, and I, I don't want it to be, you know, a bee journal, a sewing journal. I mean, all of those things are great, and I'll probably be doing some of those in the future. I've already done a bee journal, but, you know, I just want... I want it to be a little more arty, if that makes sense, you know, um, not so polished. And I am enjoying doing art in my junky junk journal, and I will be doing another page in that very soon. And I may use some of this gel printing in that. I was thinking about that. That would be a fun place to use some. Let's get this piece down. It's really nice and straight. Maybe I should put it up here in this corner. All right, these are driving me nuts. <laughs> We're done with that. Oh, I'm getting way to the bottom. It's all right.
I am not a rich woman. I, I'm sure that shows. And I'm also by nature frugal anyway. You know what I mean? Even if I, well, I mean, and I've lived different lifestyles and have been in different socioeconomic planes. But someone was talking about, more than one, there's been a couple of uh, YouTubers that I watch that have talked about digging out the stump of the glue stick and saving it somehow and using, I'm not doing that. Go ahead, hit me in the comments with whatever you want. Mm -mm. Nope. Sometimes my time is a little more valuable than that. And also, this is already such an icky, look, sticky mess. Love it. It's, I mean, it's the joy of it. I'm not complaining. However, I even have my limits. I am not digging this out. So, there. I said it. <laughs> Here, I've got another color. See what's there. Let's get some more of this. If you do that, tell me in the comments and tell me uh, what is your, because I, I maybe the reason why I'm so against it is because I really don't have in my mind a process of how I would do it efficiently. I think I would get a good portion of the glue on my hands, another good portion on whatever tool, plastic spoon or whatever I would use to gouge it out, lose more in whatever container I'm supposed to put it in, which I have no clue. No clue what container that would be. I have a sliver right here. And I have this sliver. I threw away some sliver. Oh, we're not going in the garbage right now. You know why? It's dark and it's getting darker in here. And I just really can't see it that well in, in the trash. Because it's not lit up like my desk. But let's just pull this off. And let's not make it too small like I did the last time. And let's just put that right in that spot. Yeah, when this when the when this starts falling apart in my hands, you know how they do when they get real low. It's going in the trash, folks. Brace yourselves. I'm I'm giving you the 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 warning ahead of time. <laughs> if that if that hurts your wallet to see me do that. And again, I am not a rich woman, but I just can't see. I can't. I can't see. The, I can't see the value of it for me. But I would love to hear from you. Carrie, are you watching? You dig out the stumps of your glue stick. Let me know. Let me know. Call me. Call my people. Have your people call my people. <laughs> I have no people. <laughs> he might. I don't. Eddie. Eddie makes art. Do you dig out the stumps of your glue stick? I want to know. Car How about you, Paula? Susie? My friend Susie? How about Julie P? Come on, all of you regulars. Patty. Patty's paper design. Let me know. Do you? I think I'm going to put this on crooked. And I'm going to trim it up. Oh, that's really ugly, though. No. Um, yeah, Patty's paper design. Do you dig out the glue stick? I'm not doing it. <sighs> it just makes my, my heart skip a little bit at the thought of it. <laughs> and yeah, maybe I'm just tired. I'm enjoying myself. But maybe I'm just tired, and that's why. Oh, see. I'm just sticking to everything. <laughs> Where did I say this was going to go? I think up here. I've got paper strings hanging from my hands. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> oh, heavens. I, I wouldn't mind if it wouldn't keep sticking. But it seems like once that paper starts sticking like that, then it can get really hard 
to not have it stick all the more and more and more. Okay, well, we've had the glue stick discussion. Maybe I should put it in my um, community page. Well, I hope you're looking at my community page. I give you sneak peeks and let you know what's going on in my end of the world, especially if I haven't been here for a little bit. So take a look at the community page. But I could put up a little poll. How many of you dig out your glue stick stumps? <laughs> It sounds ridiculous to even say it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, sober up. It really is funny. All right, let's do another one of these with the gel plate, gel printing. So save the glue, save the ruler, put the neutrals over here, and I'm going to just move all the pinks. This is what we did, and let's grab the stack. And I'm not going to look. And I'm going to pick, like, there's blues, greens, purples. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's go with greens. Let's see what, what we can find in the green section. That's more gold than green. But this. Okay, we'll take this one. This is just a touch of green. I, I don't think so. And no. And no. And no. No. No, but this, yes, no, this is yellow and blue and it, and it's got some green. I'm going to, I'm going to say maybe that's definitely green. Okay. I'm, I'm putting this one back because I was like thinking towards an accenty one. That's going to be that. And let's see if we can find one more. Now, okay. I was just seeing if I had some other that I, did, I didn't want all the same stenciling. But no, we've got a variety of stenciling. And let's do a green sheet, okay? Say yes. This one's pretty straight. I think I can just kind of go for it. You go for it, girl. There we go. Hey, Ann, Ann, Ann K, did you dig out your glue stick stubs? <laughs> I'm still on that. I'm so sorry. I mean, if there's something you do, and I'm not making fun of you, I'm not. I'm just picturing myself heading to the urgent care because I've glued something together and I can't get it apart. <laughs> That's on my body. That would be me. Oh my, well, that would be me. Okay, let's get this down in the corner. Okay. And we've got some more of this. Green and pink is a pretty combination, but I'm going to tell you something. This is Julie's opinion. This is not because I took some fancy uh, color class. I always figure stems on most plants are green. And the flowers are every color under the sun. Now, when have you ever thought to yourself, you know, that's a beautiful flower, but it really doesn't go with the stem. Never. That's, I'm telling you, that's your answer. Never have you said that. And so that's why I say green goes with pink. It goes with red. It goes, it goes with everything. Same thing how I feel about blue. Because the sky is blue. The sky is everywhere, right? When have we said, what a beautiful sky, but it really doesn't go with that desert scenery. Never. We never say something like that. Don't even think it. So those two colors, I just always feel like go with everything. Don't you? 
like I said, I'm not a colorist. I've not taken color theory. I mean, I'm sure I had some in art school, but it would have been very rudimentary and I don't remember it at all. I have a color wheel. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> oh, it's like having keys to the race car. It doesn't make you a race car driver, does it? Okay, that looks nice. That really looks nice. I'll put another one here. This is getting blue. All of a sudden, it's really getting dark. I hope that it's not affecting you. It, it's not affecting me on the desk. I, I notice it when I look away. You know what I mean? When I'm when I'm looking outside of our little our little circle here that we've got going. And let's get another one of these on. Good. Right here in the corner. Ooh, I missed the corner. There we go. There we go. Whoops, timber. Okay. Now, how about this one? Kind of a kind of an accenty one. It's it's green and it's plain. Well, plain. I mean, it's the it's the paper, but kind of gives it a light look, doesn't it? Yeah, I like it. This is a different stencil because this was a whole different uh, gel plate day. This is a Diane Reebley uh, stencil. This, I think it's called, oh, I hate to say, I think it's called Broken Glass, but I can't swear to that. I'm sorry. Sorry, Diane, if I got it wrong. But it's a pretty one. Because I also, no, I was going to say, I have another one that's called Martha's Mat, but no, that's got circles. So anyway, well, you go to Diane Reevely's, um, her, her products are on Ranger. Go to ranger.com and you'll find that stencil. See, I, I like that. I, you know, I like that just like a real change around and yet it still goes. Is this it? Oh yeah. We don't need to, I'm just going to take off this border. Can we put this up here? Oh, I think we can. Very good. It warmed up today, 60. And as I was telling my sister, I was talking to my sister on the phone. Um, it's hard to believe that was less than a week ago. Today's Monday on Saturday. Well, it was from Friday night. How did it go? No, Friday morning to Saturday morning, I think. Six inches of snow or eight. I mean, a lot to me and especially for now. Okay, we've got the tealy one that we still need to use. Does it bother you that I'm just taking these gel prints and just cutting them up? It doesn't me. I want to use them. I want them to be a part of my art. So I, I'm not feeling like, you know, oh no. Mm -mm. And you know, there's nothing about the putting together of this that's really precious except the stencils. You know, they're, they're a little bit of an investment for me. Now, for some people, not. But for me, they are. Um, but they're a good investment, and I they're, they're worth it. And they're worth waiting until I can save up for them. But, um, you know, packing paper, uh, the paint that's from the bargain bowl, Doesn't that look nice? I think so. Got another piece right here. 
we may have like one one additional compared to the pink maybe i pulled more of this teal out or you know of the greens i'm not sure but it doesn't matter i mean it, it's it's going together really nice i want another piece of this I think that'll look good there fill in a space nice and again I'm not looking for like cohesiveness because this is going to be cut up chopped up I mean I'm oh boy sorry it's the glue book came up on the thing and so I think I can get it off enough of it let me see ta-da there we go. Blue finger, Julie. Okay, we've got here and here. This, this one. That's over here. And I'm just going to see. Nope, I don't have any more of it. That's fine. So, when I say goodnight to you, I'm going to finish those last few. I'm going to finish those last few. Um, I think I'll put it here. I have a little bit of it there, but that's okay. Uh, those, I'm, I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry. The last few uh, where I'm putting cardstock on cardstock to... Yeah, I'm going to finish that project up and get it under some weight. And then I'm going to start thinking about some ephemera that I think I want to use with this as I cut it up. Or I guess I should say embellishments. I always get those kind of mixed up. All right. See, it's like everyone we've used is touching that spot. So no matter which one I pick, it's kind of a repeat. So I think I'm going to go with this. Yep. I think that will be fine. Okay, so we've made, hang on. Call up Dingber. Okay, well, we've talked about everything under the sun, haven't we? We did. This master board in pinks. And we did its back. This master board. And I will do this shortly. And hang on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So we glued together. Not this. Here we go. See, we go oh, and even already. I mean, this is just look the difference. Can you tell? Huh? <laughs> Am I? Does this do anything? <laughs> okay. So we've glued some of these together. Quite a few. Look, all these. We did one, two. I love this coppery one. Three. Four, five, six. We did seven of them. Oh, thank you so much. All right. Well, when we get together, we're going to be able to cut these. We'll pull out maybe the, the couple of uh, prints out of here 
and give them a, a cut. And I need to make tags. I need to make postcards. I need to make ATCs. I need to make journaling cards. And I want you to be right there with me. But in the meantime, like, subscribe. It helps me so much. Right down here, there's a video that's going to pop up that's picked out just for you. And I'll see you over there. Bye now.